Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new around here, welcome. My name is Abby and I am a homeschooling mom of four kiddos. They are pre-K three going into sixth grade this upcoming school year. And I love to share all about homeschooling resources, some family life stuff here on my channel. So if you guys wanna stick around, I would love to have you. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Today, I am giving y'all what you have asked for. I think that the whole time I've been on YouTube, um, I've had maybe like four requests for Apologia and then in the last month it's like every video and Instagram messages and Facebook messages like you guys want to see inside some Apologia books and I am I'm here to give you what you want so uh, we have used Apologia for years we really do enjoy the curriculum we've modified it to fit our family this upcoming year and in years past, we've started with a couple and then stopped for various reasons. Um, but the Apologia curriculum we have completed, uh, we started with botany, then we did astronomy, we did swimming creatures, and then we tried uh, chemistry and physics and it really wasn't a good fit for my kids' ages at the time. Now we are doing zoology and I know I'm missing one somewhere in there. I'm not sure which one I'm missing. It wasn't flying creatures. I'm not sure which one, what the other one is that we've done. Was it anatomy? possibly. Um, but my daughter in seventh, uh, eighth, and then in high school will be continuing with Apologia because we've actually been using it since she was in kindergarten and we really like the curriculum. Now I do have the notebooking journals that go along with the curriculum. And up until this upcoming year, we've used both the notebooking journals and the junior notebooking journals every year. Um, I'll show you guys inside of the ones that I do have. They're all very similar. Um, just, you know, change the change by topic, obviously. So I do have the zoology ones, the land animals one, but, um, we won't be using them this upcoming school year just because as our family has kind of grown more into being a more Charlotte Mason style family as that comfort levels grown and I don't feel the need to use uh, busy work or supplements as often. Um, I really felt like this year it limited us. However, in years past, it was really great for us to have those notebooking journals. And there were a couple of um, subjects where if we do go back through like botany and astronomy, when I go back through those with my boys and my youngest daughter, I probably will get the notebooking journals for those just because, I don't know, they were just that some of the, um, the little uh, lap books in the back or the mini books were really great for those subjects, but for a couple of them, I didn't feel like it was super necessary. So um, without further ado, I will flip you around. I will show you inside of a couple of the textbooks that I can dig out of my storage and some of the notebooking journals. If you guys have any questions, leave those in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer those. And like I said, we've been using this curriculum for years, so um, I would love to share. All right, here we go. So as you can see, we have a lot of these Apologia Young Explorer series textbooks. Uh, some of them have been updated since I originally purchased them, so they look differently, but they are still laid out the same way. I'm just gonna show you inside a couple of them. So when you open the book, the first thing you'll see is just some instructional support for online work. Um, and then there's a scientific speculation sheet in every book that can be copied and used throughout the experiments. You have an introduction to all the different parts of the lessons, the increments, the narrations, notebooks, projects, etc. And then you have the course website if you want to find any extras online. Then one thing that I love is you have the items needed to complete each lesson laid out very clearly at the beginning of the book. So you can either go online and buy a science kit. There's a lot of different websites that offer full science kits for each Apologia book or you can look at this and gather the supplies ahead of time, which is a really convenient way to have everything on hand for the experiments. Then you have the table of contents, and most of the books have somewhere between 13 and 16 chapters. So if you're doing two weeks per chapter, you can totally fit it in within a school year. One thing you'll see when I show you the notebooking journals is if you choose to use the notebooking journal, there's a sample schedule in there for how to break up the lessons and the notebooking journal activities over the course of two weeks where you're doing science two days each week.
Then you get into the actual text in the textbook. Now, if you're asking me my personal opinion, I do feel like the text in the reading is pretty lengthy. However, it is an immersive approach, so you are learning a lot about each specific uh, subject in each chapter. Uh, you can break it down, like I said, with the notebooking journal. You can read it over the course of two weeks, uh, two days for two weeks, so four different times that you'd be reading. Um, you can break it down that way. We read a little here and there now that we're no longer using the notebooking journal. I also have the audiobook CD, which is really helpful for listening in the car or listening while they play with puzzles. But when you break it down over the course of a couple of weeks, it's not actually so much to read, but it's definitely one you don't want to get behind on. Um, and then in the back of each chapter, there's a couple of little discussion activities, opportunities to narrate, um, and then there is an experiment at the end of each chapter. Now in the notebooking journal, again, um, there are more experiments and more activities. So just keep that in mind that if you're not using the notebooking journals, which the notebooking journals are like copy work and mini books and vocabulary and crosswords and things like that. If you're not using the notebooking journals, then you will just have the one experiment in each chapter. Then in the back of the book, you have the answers to the narrations if you ever need to reference that. And you also have an index where you can look things up throughout the book. So for a traditional textbook style curriculum, these notebooking journals are great. They have tons of activities and supplements, fun, bright, colorful mini books that the kids can cut out and paste. There's a lot of cutting and pasting throughout these books. There's coloring pages, vocabulary, stories, vocabulary crosswords, fascinating facts where they could do some written narrations and things like that. However, um, we have been moving away from the copy work, busy work style of work in our homeschool. I just find that it slows us down. I prefer oral narrations and hands-on activities. So while we're no longer using these, I wouldn't take uh, my word for it as far as not purchasing them. I think they were great. The layout at the beginning where it gives you an outline for how to do this and work the notebooking journal in well is great. My kids have always loved the coloring pages. Now the older book, the, um, the notebooking journal, not the junior notebooking journal, but just the standard one does not have the coloring pages. And then instead of vocabulary stories, it's got crosswords. It is uh, geared a little more toward like the third through sixth grade age range. And then the junior notebooking journal is geared more toward that kindergarten, first, second grade age range. So just keep that in mind. Otherwise, there's not too much of a difference. My kids were able to work in their different journals simultaneously without really having any problems or any major differences. So that was my flip through. I hope that helped you guys. If you guys have any questions, leave those in the comments below. Um, and if you are using Apologia or have used Apologia in the past, let me know in the comments below what you have used or what you are looking forward to using. All right, see you guys soon. Bye.